Hi, this is Mrs. Lemoyne again, and today we're going to be starting Unit 3. This is Illustrative Math, Grade 5, Unit 3, Multiplying and Dividing Fractions. So we're going to continue our work with fractions. Lesson 1, one piece of one part. Our learning goal today is to solve problems about unit fractions. Unit fractions. Notice and wonder. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Well, I notice the pan isn't full. It isn't a full pan. I notice there's a spatula. It looks like a rice cooker back here. And it looks like it might be, yeah, I think it's macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. So I might wonder who made this macaroni and cheese? And how much is left? And can I have a piece? The picture shows a pan of macaroni and cheese. What other food is baked in pans like this one? Well, I know that I make lasagna in a pan like this one. I also make cake sometimes in a pan like this one. Casseroles. Your mom make, might make all kinds of things, or maybe you bake. About how much macaroni and cheese is left in the pan? Well, if I look at it, I think, let's see, this is how much is in the pan. I would think that it's less than a half because I think that this is smaller than this. Yeah, I would say it's less than a half. So a half might be right here. Yeah. And I also think that it's more than a third. So if I cut the pan in thirds, let's get a different color and try to do that. Let's see, I think a third would be here and a third would be here. Yeah. So I think it's less than a third. Let's get a color you can see less than a third, one third, and more than a half. You might see it differently, but that's, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. All right, let's jump into today's activity. Today's activity is called, of what? Of what? We're going to solve problems about a pan of macaroni and cheese that was served at a big family dinner. Lynn is excited that her aunt made her famous baked macaroni and cheese. Tell your partner story about a dish you love for, to eat for dinner. At a family dinner, a pan of macaroni and cheese is one half full. Lynn eats one third of the remaining macaroni and cheese in the pan. Draw a diagram to represent this situation. All right, so here's my pan. You can even draw the handles if you want. There's my pan. And it says the pan is half full. So let's go about half full. All right, so here's my macaroni and cheese on this side. This side is empty. Lynn is going to eat one third of what's left. So let's cut this what's left into thirds. Thirds, right? So she's going to eat this whole piece right here. Explain or show how you know your diagram represents this situation. Well, here's my one half full, my one half of my lasagna pan. That's my one half. And then I cut that one half into thirds, and Lynn ate this third, that third. I could have drawn it differently, yeah? So I could have drawn a different representation of that same thing. I should have, I could have cut it. Um, down this way and then cut the thirds this way, right? Lynn is still eating a half and then a third of that half of the half. Or I could have said, okay, here's my pan. Oh, sorry. Let's cut it a different way this time. Let's cut it this way. So half of the lasagna is left and Lynn is going to eat one third of that half, right? third of this half. So I could have had a lot of different drawings showing how much Lynn ate, but it's always a third of a half. A third of a half. All right. Good job with that one. Let's see if there's anything else on this one. No, let's go this one. Oh, there's a three representations, right? Here's the half. 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 And half. And here's the one-third of the half, right? So one-third of half of the pan. Here are the diagrams. How are they the same? How are they different? We've kind of already talked about that. 
But then they want to ask, how much of the whole pan did Lynn eat? Well, it's not one third of the whole pan, is it? It's not. It's not one third of the whole pan. If I wanted to find out how much there was in the whole pan, I'm going to have to cut it into equal pieces. So let's continue cutting this one. So now there are six pieces and Lynn ate one sixth. So one third of one half is one sixth. Same thing here. I'm going to have to cut it into equal pieces to see how much she ate of the whole pan. And she ate one sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same in this diagram. So I can show it in lots of different ways, but every time it is one sixth of the whole pan. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we are. We can cut each one in a different situation, different ways, but every time we cut it, she is only eating this piece of it. It's half, I'm sorry, it's third of a half, and a third of a half will be one sixth. Okay. So, the same but different. Explain or show how each diagram represents one fourth of one half. One fourth of one half. So again, oops, oh, still macaroni and cheese. Here's my half. Oops. I hate it when that does that. Let's go on. There we go. We did that one. Let's go. All right. So let's get a color you can see. There's pink. All right. So one fourth of one half. Well, one half of the whole pan, and we ate one fourth of it. So we're cutting that half into four pieces, and we ate one-fourth. Yes? Same thing here. We're cutting that half. Here's my half. And of the half, I'm eating one-fourth. But one-fourth of one-half is not one-fourth of the whole pan, is it? We're going to have to continue to cut into equal pieces to find out how much she ate of the whole pan. It says use diagrams to show that one-fourth of one-half is one-eighth, one-eighth, one-eighth. So that means I have to cut all of these pieces into fourths as well. And we ate one out of the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we discovered that. All right, so activity synthesis. How does each diagram represent one-fourth of one-half? They each showed one-half shaded in lighter blue, and then one-fourth of that half is shaded darker blue. How do we know that the darkly shaded pieces are the same size? I cut them out to check, but both are one-fourth of one-half, and they both represent one-eighth of the whole pan. So one-fourth of one-half is equal to how much of the whole pan of macaroni and cheese? We can extend the lines in diagram A, and we can partition the rest of the square in diagram B, and one-fourth of one-half is equal to one-eighth of the whole pan. Today we drew diagrams to represent fractions of fractions. What did you learn about fractions of fractions? So what did I learn? I learned that they are pieces of pieces. Fractions are pieces of pieces, right? Pieces of a half. So that's a piece of the whole pan, right? And then I ate a piece of that piece. So pieces of pieces. Okay. How much of the whole pan of macaroni and cheese did Lynn eat? Well, in this one, it looks like she ate one, oops, sorry, one third, one third of half. One third of half. One third of half. All done the same way. So I think she ate one third of half the pan. And I think that's going to equal, because I can extend these lines, 
that's going to equal 1 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to equal 1, 6. I can extend these lines also to get equal pieces, and that's going to equal 1, 6, right? And I can extend, I can create more lines to cut the entire pan into equal pieces. If I could draw a straight line, this would be 1, 6. Okay, good job. Okay, cool down. A pan of macaroni and cheese is half full. My eats one-fifth of the remaining macaroni and cheese. Draw a diagram. So a diagram will help me. So here's my macaroni and cheese. It's half full. And my ate one-fifth of the remaining half. So I'm going to cut this piece into fifths. So let's do it this way. One. So one, two, three, four, five, and my eight this much. So there's my diagram. How much of the whole pan did my eat? So in order to figure that out, I'm going to have to extend these out. So how many pieces do I have now? I have five plus five is ten. So my eight one tenth of the pan. Of the pan. And I can say one fifth times one half is one tenth, or I can say one half times one fifth is one tenth of the whole pan. All right, that was lesson three. I'm sorry, lesson one of unit three. Thank you for listening and like and subscribe if you'd like me to continue making these videos.